everybody and welcome. This is Anna from AutoDS Tools and in this video I want to show you the monitors page. Uh, after you logged into the system, you chose the package, you need to connect the monitors, start them. The first one is the price monitor. When you enter this button here will be green and will read start monitor. Um, it's very important that you don't start this monitor before you made sure that you disconnected your eBay store from your previous monitor. If you don't do that, uh, your prices might change because the synchronization uh, will not work right. So make sure you disconnect your previous monitor. Then you can go here to the pencil symbol and you can edit the settings that you have here. Here you can set your break even. Um, this will be applied to all the new products you'll be importing from the previous monitor. N will be the default break even in each new listing that you will list through our uploader. Um, here you can set the profits that you want. You can either choose uh, additional dollars or additional percentage of the original price. Um, and you can also play with both. So for example, I can have a profit of $2 and on top of that, I can have a profit of 3.4% of the selling of the original price in Amazon. Here you can mark end untracked listings. It's only recommended uh, if you know that you're not working with other suppliers, then the monitor will end any untracked listings, listings that don't have assigns connected to them and that appear here. So only tick this box if you're not working with other suppliers. Not available listings. What do you want the monitor to do if a listing goes out of stock? So you can choose either alert me and then you'll see it here in the notifications or you can choose put out of stock. Um, so the monitor will automatically put this item out of stock. When the product is available again, goes back into stock on Amazon, you can choose whether to get an alert or to raise the quantity. If you choose raise the quantity, you can choose what's the quantity to raise to. Here it's defined as one. Next, if a product is marked as Vero, you can choose alert or end listing. If a product is blocked by Amazon, you can choose again to be alerted, to be notified or to end the listing. Prime is if, if you're ticking this box, you're basically telling the monitor uh, only um, monitor products that are prime. If a product goes out of prime, put it out of stock. So it's very important if you're working with Prime and with uh, Prime shipping policies that you tick this box. Here you can also define the maximum ship within time of Prime products. Sometimes you can uh, list in bulk and some listings, some products will not have two days shipping option, free two days shipping. So you can define to the monitor that it will only put in stock products that have this option for two days. So you can change it as you wish. An automatic SKU filling, you tick this. If you tick this, then the asset number of uh, the product in Amazon will be automatically filled in the SKU part on eBay. Um, it's not really recommended to do that, but some sellers prefer that. But basically, if you do that, that we, then with certain programs of market research, uh, it will be easier to follow your sellers and copy your listings. So you need to see if you actually want to do that. Next, we have the orders monitor. This will be automatically on. You won't have to start it. And in this monitor, you can also edit here in the pencil and you can define what happens once a product is sold. If a product is sold, you can either choose alert me or raise quantity. Here you can choose the quantity to raise. 
uh, when a product sold you can also tick here change price okay um, it will only change the price after the first sale and you can choose either to raise additional percentage of the price or additional dollars okay and when you press V here you save the changes next monitor is our profitability monitor it's a very very useful monitor that helps you raise your sell through of your store and keep track on items that are not selling so it saves you money on relisting the item on eBay once the good till cancel program renews itself once a month and it also saves you money on the monitor expenses because you won't be listing products that are not selling. So you can go here and you can choose what to do when a listing is not profitable, to end a listing or to, or to get an alert. You can define what will be the conditions uh, according to which the item will be removed or you'll get the alert. So you can define that if there's one day left for the product be before it's relisted, relisted meaning it's almost a month live with no uh, with uh, sales that you will define, then the listing will be ended. You can define how many minimum sold quantity, one for example, the minimum watchers and the minimum views, and if the product will answer all these uh, parameters, then the monitor, the profitability monitor, will automatically uh, end the listing. And next one is the order processors. It's uh, only open to those of you who will take packages that comes with automatic orders, and I will uh, define it, uh, explain about it more in detail in a different video.